To make our little festive welcome mat for the dollhouse, you need two pieces of felt exactly the same size. These are each 9 centimeters by 5.5 centimeters. You need a needle with an eye large enough to accept your embroidery floss, a pair of scissors, a fine tipped marker in the same color as the floss color that you will be using for your writing, and two shades. I'm using red for the writing and green for a few of the accents. And once you've got that, we can get started. Take your fine tip marker and begin by penciling in where you want your words. If your words are long and you're not sure how much space they're going to take up, it helps to find the middle letter of each word and start that in the very middle of your embroidery space. has an odd number of letters, so I started with the P. Holidays has an even number of letters, so the two middle letters are I and D. Next, thread up a long length of your letter color of embroidery floss in your darning needle. Find the end and tie a knot in it. Because this is a two-sided welcome mat, we can make the back of it as messy as we like, it doesn't matter. Then you can start with the very first letter of the very first word and just follow the little path you made with your pen. parts of letters, you can break it up into a few different little short straight lines. For example, on this P, I'm going to make it in three different little stitches. a single word, you can flip it over and make a small knot on the back. I find it helpful to put my needle down right where the end of my thread comes out and then just slowly pull the knot back to that. And then it's not too tight or too loose. Then you can re-knot your yarn and start all over again with the next letter. Once you've finished stitching in all of your letters, grab the back side of your mat and place both pieces together as flush as possible. Then, grab a long piece of your other color, or if you're using the same color, that's fine too, thread it up, Put a knot at the end of it, and we are going to blanket stitch the edges together. I like to bring my yarn out from the inside between both pieces first, so that the knot will be in the inside and not showing on the outside of my little mat. Then I complete 
one single stitch going over both pieces. And then I begin the blanket stitch. You work through both pieces together. Before you've finished pulling up the entire loop, take your needle, pass it underneath the loop, and this will eventually work itself out into the blanket stitch. We're going to come around back to the back and actually fix that one at the end. Don't pull too tight and don't make your stitches too far apart. back to the beginning where your first stitch was and that little half sort of blanket stitch is, don't cross over into this one. Cross over and pick up that little falling down stitch and then you can pull it back towards that first stitch you made. Take your needle and push it halfway through your blanket. So push it to the inside and if you can, Push it out between the two pieces of your little welcome mat. And then you can create another little knot. Create the knot as tight and as close to the very end of your yarn as or of, of your little thread edge as you can. And then you can push your needle back in between both pieces of your welcome mat. Pull that knot to the inside. And then just snip your yarn. And there you go.